class, what comes to mind when you think about sound? Sound is music. Sound is waves. Sound is energy. Very good. Those are all great examples. So what is sound exactly? Sound is energy, like light or electricity. Sound is made when objects vibrate. Sound vibrations travel in waves by pushing air molecules together. Vibrations can be powerful. The stronger the vibrations, the louder the sound. And sound is measured in decibels. So this is a diagram of the ear, and in this diagram, it's broken up into three different parts. The outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. So I want you to think about the sound that a trumpet makes. So a trumpet makes a sound, and those sound waves travel starting from the outer ear and gets funneled into the narrow passageway called the ear canal until it reaches the eardrum, which then causes the eardrum to vibrate, which in turn causes the three tiniest bones in the body to vibrate. And they increase and amplify the sound. So they're called the malleus, incus, and stapes. So those sound vibrations travel to the cochlea, the snail-shaped organ in your inner ear, which is filled with fluid and teeny tiny hair cells. So the fluid in the cochlea ripples and causes a wave, and the hair cells um, get an electrical impulse, and then your auditory nerve sends a signal to the brain to hear. And that's how we hear. And now I'd like seven volunteers to act out this very important hearing process. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of you can line up, if all of you can line up over there. So now that we learn how sound travels to the ear, we'll have your classmates um, act out the parts of the ear for now. So we'll start with the noise source. And then you'll be the eardrum, so you hit that. And then you're the malleus, so you vibrate. You're the incus, so you vibrate. And you're the stapes, so you vibrate. And you're the cochlea, so you slosh. And then you're the brain, so you get the signal to hear the sound. So now that you practice, let's do it. And let's remember that's a chain reaction and it happens really fast. And that's how we hear. Thank you, you guys did a great job. And now we know how we hear. This demonstration was brought to you by It's a Noisy Planet, Protect Their Hearing, a public education campaign of the National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, part of the National Institutes of Health. The Noisy Planet program is designed to increase awareness among children ages 8 to 12, their parents, teachers, and others about the causes and prevention of noise-induced hearing loss. Noise-induced hearing loss can build over time and is permanent, but it can be prevented. Noisy Planet reminds you to lower the volume, move away from the noise, and wear hearing protectors such as earplugs or earmuffs. For free resources, including educational tips and tools for parents and teachers, as well as pop quizzes and fun educational games for preteens, please visit www.noisyplanet.nidcd.nih.gov or email us at nidcdinfo at nidcd.nih.gov.